Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows and many other OSs on your Chromebook. Perhaps you've got one for Christmas and want to run some other apps in it, or maybe you just want a different OS like Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. In any case, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install a different OS on your Chromebook. In order to convert your Chromebook into an Ultrabook and install a different OS like Windows, I would highly recommend having access to a different PC with Windows already on it so you can create a bootable installer. If you want to see my instructions on how to do this, I will leave it in the description below. The first step is to see if your Chromebook is supported. Check the developer information link in the description and search for your specific model of Chromebook. There may be multiple Chromebooks under the same name, so make sure that the specs match. The main thing that we're looking for is the code name. Take note of it, and then open the hardware support list from the link in the description. Check the list to see if your model is supported along with the specified code name. If it's supported, great. If it's not, don't try this as it will brick your firmware. You'll also need an internet connection, a USB mouse, and a 32 gigabyte internal drive at a minimum in order to install different OSs. You can buy these online, which I will leave linked in the description below. Now, before we get started with this project, I just want to give some forewarnings. Firstly, you'll likely be voiding your warranty by disabling write protect on your laptop, which is required for this project. And you'll also need to erase all data off of the drive that you want to install it on. There is also a small chance that you can brick your firmware while trying to flash it, so keep that in mind as well. You'll also need access to developer mode, so any kind of school Chromebook or locked Chromebook will not work with this method. And lastly, you won't be able to go back to Chrome OS once you've already flashed the firmware. And with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing that you'll need to do is remove hardware write protect on your device. On models made between 2012 and 2013, there is a jumper or a switch to disable hardware write protection. On models made between 2014 and 2017, there's a screw that you actually have to manually remove on the motherboard of the laptop. On Chromebooks newer than 2017, the CR50 security chip can be temporarily disabled by removing the battery and running just off of the power adapter. If you're not sure what you'll need to do, there is a link in the description that has a list of devices and how to disable hardware write protect on each device. The next step is to put your device into developer mode. You can do this by holding the escape, refresh, and power button on your keyboard for a few seconds to enter recovery mode. Press Ctrl D, then enter when you see the screen, and your device will turn OS verification off and restart. After it restarts, press Ctrl D again to enter Chrome OS in developer mode. and now we need to flash the firmware to allow us to boot Windows. After going through the setup process, open a Chrome tab and press Ctrl Alt T to open a cross window. Type shell and press enter, and you will need to be connected to the internet in order for this to work. Now type the following command that's on screen. This will download the script we need to flash the firmware. then type this command. Finally, type sudo firmware-util.sh and press enter. You should see a screen like this. If write protect is disabled, the line that says FWWP should say disabled. To flash the firmware, select option 2 and press enter. If it asks you to save the current ROM to a flash drive, you can plug in a flash drive and then save the file to the USB drive in case you need to reflash the ROM. I would highly recommend doing this so that you have a backup in case something goes wrong. Once the flashing is successful, return to the main menu and shut off your laptop. We're now ready to upgrade the drive if you have a bigger one or install Windows if you don't.
To install Windows or any other OS, plug in your USB drive and your USB mouse and start up your laptop. If you see some sort of command line, just type exit and hit enter, and then you can navigate to the boot menu and select your USB drive to boot off of. For Windows, once you're at the installer, continue and choose the custom install. When you get to a section with a list of drives, make sure that you delete every option until there's only one option left that's named unallocated space and then install Windows on it. After Windows is done installing, it'll restart on its own. Unplug your USB drive after it shuts down and you can continue with the installation of Windows. When you get into Windows, open up a browser and go to the supported Chromebook list in the description. Under each generation of CPUs, there is a list of links of drivers to install. For example, I have an Acer C720 which is under Haswell, so I would install drivers under the Haswell section. The ones that you need to install are the touchpad drivers, keyboard remap utility, audio if applicable, SD card reader if applicable, and keyboard backlight if applicable. The optional drivers are the touchscreen, if you have a touchscreen, and Intel Rapid Storage Technology, if you have your drives in a RAID configuration. If you have any issues with installation, I'll leave a bunch of guides and documentation for this video in the description below. I hope everything goes well with your project, stay safe, See you next time.